Hello and welcome to the 57th video in this series, Programming HS Engine in GUI and JavaScript. So now we're in the state in the browser where we can select and highlight our pieces and squares, well, select and highlight our squares anyway, we want to move on a little bit and start looking at the detection of a user move. And the way we think about the user move is the user has to select a piece for the from square by definition. So what we can say is, if a piece has been clicked, then we can say that if the user move dot from is equal to squares dot no square, so from hasn't yet been assigned and a piece was clicked, then we can actually set this equal then to the square that was clicked. So we can set this equal then to click square. Oops. Otherwise, we'll set the user move to equal to our click square. Like so. That reminds me, uh, at the end of the last video, I noticed that in click square, some some point I'd removed the return zero here, so I've added in return square at the bottom of, of click square. So now moving on to a square click. Well, a square click can only happen on an empty square when we're looking for the two square for the user move. So what we can say is, we can say that if the user move dot from is not equal to squares dot no square, so we've set the from square and we've clicked an empty square, then we'll set the two square equal to this empty square. So that's built up our user move. And the last thing we need to do now is implement a function which actually makes this move. And here there'll be some obviously some extra checks inside. So I'll just scroll this up to the top. So what we'll say here is then is if user move dot from is not equal to squares dot no square and user move dot two is not equal to squares dot no square sorry squares underscore no square no dot my goodness tired again so if we actually have squares set that aren't no square for our user move then what we'll do is is the first thing we'll do is actually deselect these squares now because we're going to make a move from the user or the move is just completely illegal in which case we want to dis deselect the squares anyway so we'll deselect user move dot from and we'll deselect user move dot to and then what we need to do is we actually need to set the user move values themselves back to no square because we now want to clear it up and take in the next move. So irrespective, when the user has selected two squares, a from and a two, where the from is a piece and the two is another piece or a blank, irrespective of what happens, whether the move is legal or not, we deselect the squares and we reset the user move. And what will happen later on in the code inside this function, obviously, is we'll check whether the move exists on the board. If it does, we'll make it and also move the relevant GUI pieces around as well. But for now, this is going to stay like this. And one last thing we can actually do just for the console is drop in a line just below here just to say what move is being made by the user here so we can see this inside the console. So if I just bring up the GUI here, and refresh and now click on a square you see I'm clicking on empty squares and the console's just building up with the repeat here of the four square clicks so it's only letting me select when there's actually a piece and you can see here it said I've clicked, clicked square F7 if I try now to go and click F3 then it's not deselected and that's because I'm stupid and I've forgotten to put the make user move actually in here. So in the case of clicking a square we only try and make the user move if we set the two square. In the case of clicking the piece however we don't know whether we set the two square or the from square or not so what we'll do is we'll just make user move anyway because we have this check at the start of make user move to check that both squares are set. So I'll just bring the browser back up and refresh and trial that again so clicked F7 now click to F3 and you can see the deselections happened. It's seen F3, it's seen the user move F7 to F3 and it would now try and make that on the board to see if it's a legal move. And now I'm free to click again, trying to make moves on the board as you're probably used to from playing versus the GUI.
Good, so that's it then for this video. That's Peace Clicks. And the next video is going to start getting a little bit more complicated now because we're going to have to start building up the code that allows us to actually move pieces on the GUI. So thanks very much for listening and comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.